Hi, Bike Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a farm located in northeast Iowa, where a 185 PTO horsepower white 185 tractor is working on fall tillage, turning under corn stalks with an 11 foot 9 inch wide Glencoe soil saver culture chisel equipped with nine shanks working at 10 inches deep. In this video, I would like to share with you the tractor's production history, specifications, and original price tag. But first, let's head out to the field so that you can see and hear all this chisel plowing action. The Model 185 has an interesting production history. It was the first new tractor produced by White New Idea, which was formed as a merger when Allied, the parent company, acquired White Farm Equipment on September 13, 1985 and merged it with its New Idea Farm Equipment division. White Farm Equipment began producing its line of Argent Silver Field Boss tractors in 1974 as the company began phasing out its Meadow Green Oliver, Energy Yellow Minneapolis Moline, and Zumac Red Cockshot brand tractors. The largest model in the Field Boss tractor line was introduced in 1977 with the Model 2180. This machine is powered by a Caterpillar 3208 636 cubic inch V8 engine rated at 180 PTO horsepower. White New Idea began rolling out its new line of 100 series tractors in 1987. The company had been producing Field Boss tractors since the mid-1970s, and it was time for an update after a decade of production. The first new tractor in the 100 series was the Field Boss 185. It came with an updated 8.3 liter CDC Cummins inline six-cylinder engine, 
replacing the Caterpillar 3208 V8 engine that had been used in the Model 2180 since 1977. For model year 1987, the 185 Field Boss was a standalone model. It did not use the white brand name on the decal or tractor's grill. For model year 1988, the 185 was joined by four additional tractors, including the model 100, 120, 140, and 160. The field boss name was completely dropped, and these new machines were simply known as the 100 series. The 185 was the top-end row crop tractor from the company for model year 1987 through 1989. It was initially manufactured in Charles City, Iowa, well known for the Oliver tractor plant that had been producing Oliver tractors since 1929 and Hartpar tractors going back to 1903. On March 29, 1988, the 100 series production was transferred from Charles City, Iowa to Coldwater, Ohio, where White New Idea manufactured hay and forge equipment as well as manure spreaders. The 185 tractor, as previously mentioned, is powered by an 8.3 liter CDC Cummins inline six cylinder turbocharged liquid cooled 504.5 cubic inch engine rated at 185 PTO horsepower. The tractor holds a total of 74 gallons of diesel fuel with a 35 gallon tank as well as a side mounted 39 gallon tank. This tractor features an over under transmission that was originally developed by Oliver. It has a 3x6 over under partial power shift transmission featuring 18 forward and 6 reverse speeds allowing the tractor to travel from 1.8 up to 18.2 miles per hour. This tractor features a cast iron mainframe that adds working weight and balance. That extra weight, equipped with a four-wheel drive axle, allows it to reduce wheel slippage by 50% in heavy tillage and increase drawbar horsepower by up to 26%. When the 185 rolled off the assembly line as a two-wheel drive model, it weighed in at 13,600 pounds. When it was equipped with a front-wheel assist four-wheel drive axle, it weighed in at 15,100 pounds, and the tractor can be field weight up to 18,770 pounds. The white 185 as a two-wheel drive model had an original price tag of $65,765. When it was upgraded to a four-wheel drive model with a front-wheel assist axle, it had a list price of $74,600. As the tractor and the coulter chisel work their way across the field, we can see the nice job that it's doing. It's bearing the residue, it's breaking up the compaction, and we've got nice, nice loose soil here to help next year's crops put down good roots. Just like a rototiller going through the garden. Very nice job. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field with this white 185 tractor and Glencoe Soil Saver working on fall tillage. I would like to hear in the comment section below the video if you use white farm equipment tractors on your farm. Tell me about the model that you're running and the implements that it operates. If you've appreciated this presentation, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional content featuring tillage here on the channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for two more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, Thank you for watching.